Hey everybody, it's uh, the 24th of September and we're in um, Zion National Park traveling through and we're going to uh, stop and, and take a look at some of the vistas. For those that um, think all I do is build fire trucks, this YouTube channel was originally designed to um, Oh, about four or five years ago for my travels. That's why it's called Vinnie the Wandering Italian. I wander around the United States. And uh, so we're in Zion National Park. And uh, originally we did this to, so our kids could see what mom and dad are doing when they're retired. So this is one of the vista points we stopped at. Take a look at things. It's a beautiful park. Apparently it is the most visited park in uh, Utah, so I'm told. So, oh, we got in for free. Their computer was down, so they couldn't accept our card, so, huh, ah, you're free. That's cool. So I'm gonna be doing uh, videos while we are traveling down to Arizona. It's a 14 day trip. We're on day three of it. We're heading down to uh, Arizona and I like hiking the Red Rock Canyons of Arizona, so I'll be doing a lot of that. By the time this uh, video is uploaded, or videos of my travel are uploaded, um, we'll probably be back in town. So, if you've never been to Zion National Park, I'm sure this video does not do it justice. Beautiful here. Absolutely gorgeous. So stay tuned with my travels throughout the uh, Zion National Park. All right, we're getting ready to go through a tunnel. And look at how this thing was just carved out of rock. Just right through. This is a smaller one. There's a bigger one that we're gonna go through here in a little bit that we've gotta pay like $15 to go through. And it looks like it's at least a mile or two long out of the same thing. Cool. On automatically. Hey everybody, the second tunnel I talked about. This one's really long. Oh, I better turn my lights on. They're on. They only let one lane through at a time. It's so narrow. So roll my window. This is the longest tunnel in the park if you've never been here. I have no idea what the length is, but on the map it looks long. We had to wait in line for probably 10 minutes for the hordes of traffic coming the other way. Buses and whatnot. So yeah, pretty cool. No oversized vehicles. Yeah, no, yeah, it can't be over uh, whatever the width is. Nothing over 14 feet. And if it is a, a big load or a big you have to have a pilot car. It said they charge $15 to get through here, but we didn't get stopped to have to pay. Their computers so, are on the glitch. Well, that could be too. Anyway, pretty cool. And it was built in the 20s before RVs. Oh, yeah. And so it didn't take an account for high RVs and things. That's Mrs. Wandering Italian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> giving you the narration. Oh, look at there's windows. Yeah, there's a Ooh, windows. I can't imagine if a car fire catches on fire in here. It would be a disaster. Holy crap. Can you imagine? An EV fire would be the worst. But there's it's not like modern day tunnels where they have ways to evacuate smoke and people. Kind of sketchy. Anyway, good times. We're going to uh, go into Springdale. Springdale, Utah, and grab a shuttle bus, and that's the only way to really get into the, to the uh, canyon. So that'll be our, our next destination once we get to uh, Springdale. We'll find a shuttle bus and take the tour up in through the canyon itself. Oh, we see any of the tunnel? Nope. Just more light. It's opened up. Check that out. <laughs> there. 
there is the end of the tunnel. I would say that was what, maybe a mile? I'm thinking it was probably a mile long. Looking through the lens here, it looks like it's really bright. Voila, and we're out of the tunnel. So yeah, our next stop will be Springdale, uh, and uh, we'll get, find a shuttle to take us into the park. They don't allow a ve they don't allow vehicles to do it because, um, well, as you can imagine, all this traffic, you would never be able to get in there and park and everything else. So you got to get on a tour bus and take the shuttle bus up there. So stay tuned for that excitement. All right, we're in Springdale. Utah and this is uh, I think they call this the south entrance to the park and we're kind of checking it out we got some shit gift shops and there's a um, they say bus line here so we're gonna try to catch the bus here to uh, go into the park you want to cross here Deb so anyway yeah that's what we're doing and uh, hopefully we'll figure out how to get into the park we're gonna do some touristy things here and check out the tour shops. So yeah, cool. It's a beautiful day here. And you can see it's beautiful outside. A lot of people here, a ton of freaking people. So stay tuned. All right, so we're at the, um, the lodge and we're gonna do a half mile hike. So we got here by bus. You have to take that to get in this section of the park. They close it down to um, to vehicles. Unless, of course, you're staying at the lodge and you have reservations, apparently, because I see there are cars there. So we're going to do this half-mile hike and then catch the next shuttle there and continue through the park. So this shuttle makes nine stops. Uh, it's free. doesn't cost anything. We got to the kiosk, and they weren't charging here either because their computers are down. So this whole... Yeah, park wide, it's all shut down. So everything's free today. We picked a great day. So yeah, we're gonna walk around this trail. It's a half hour or half mile walk, and just kind of see the sights here. Just some of the views as we walk through this half mile hike. You want to get in front of you. <laughs> Lots of people here videoing and taking pictures. So I kind of watch where people are at so I don't get in their picture. But I don't mind putting it in my picture. It's a nice little waterfall here. Very tall. Comes right through that canyon. We're gonna go walk along the canyon. So what's interesting is that there are signs here. You know how we have fire danger signs. There are signs here that are for flash flood, and we're at uh, none expected, which is good. That means there's no big storms up river of us. It's uh, called the River Rock. It's the last stop in the bus line. And we're going to walk along the river and I'm going to get some video of it. Because it goes, I mean, it's a very narrow canyon. So I'm going to see what that's all about. It's a mile walk up and a mile walk back. So we're going to do that and then we'll catch the bus and head back to our vehicle and then find somewhere in town to have lunch. Got a little closer to them. They're in the shadows. 
and they're, they're probably 50 yards away. I'm going to zoom in to 12 times. Not sure how it's going to turn on the video. End of the line. So this is a mile, we walked a mile up, and now we're going to walk a mile back. All right, so I'm gonna end the video now. Let's close it out. Um, Zion National Park's pretty cool, and a lot of different people here. And we had lunch at the brewery here, or pub, or whatever it is. And um, a lot of interesting people here. Uh, a lot of people from all over the world, which is kind of cool. Italy, Germany, Australia, just to name a few. And uh, what they don't have is a very good spot to walk across the street. I'm trying not to get hit. All right, anyway, so I highly recommend it. It was a good trip. Spent most of the day here. And now we're going on to our next journey, which will be, uh, we're going to Hurricane. That's where we're spending the night before our trip to uh, Arizona. So, so gotta go find bumbleberry pie. oh, yeah, uh, gotta find some bumbleberry pie. Never heard of it until this trip, and we're gonna go seek that out next. So, I'm closing this out. Thanks for checking in, and uh, see you next time.